itchy eye. I got itchy eye disease. Uh, Francis says, FYI, Coinbase is limiting my buy of Bitcoin by not allowing me to add fiat to my account. That has to be something worth watching. Thanks for uh, thanks for sharing that, Francis. Because this show is not a fan of Coinbase. The show will never be a supporter of Coinbase. I, th I think that Coinbase is... They've done some good things in, in in Bitcoin. They've helped a lot of people come into Bitcoin. But I think that Coinbase is more of our enemy than our friend. And so if you have the choice, if you're in Canada or in the US or whoever Coinbase applies to, if you have a choice between using Coinbase and somebody else, always choose somebody else. Always choose somebody else. And if you're looking for somebody to... Here, let me bring this up. Let me bring this up on... The screen here hopefully it works uh where are we here that's not what it is here's what you can do i'll bring it up on the screen go to bitcoin.org and then click resources and then click exchanges and the beauty of this is you can actually find all the peer-to-peer -peer, uh, exchanges that are out there but then you can go down to whatever country you're in. So if you're in Europe, if you're in the Netherlands, you can see all the different exchanges. I guess there's only one in Netherlands, according to this, specific to the Netherlands. But this is where you can go to find all the different exchanges. And then from there, that's the first part. That's the first step in your journey. And then from there, you go to heyapollo.com, who maybe one day will be a sponsor of the show. As well. And then you go through categories. You go to exchanges, and then you can type or you can type in the exchange you saw on Bitcoin.org. And then you can look at all the different reviews from Bitcoiners. So look at this, Coinbase, 3.3 average review. Commented lightning. Oh, am I going down here? I'm not going down. I th my, we thought about going down for a second there, but we're back. I think. Are we live? Wow. Well, internet hasn't been great here. <laughs> it's kind of, <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, small town, small town internet out in the rural area. And the funny thing is I played golf the other day, virtual golf internet provider he's a guy who has a small business around here he runs the he has his own internet company a couple of hours and i was playing golf the other day and he asked how my bitcoin or how my internet was it's perfect i do a live stream every morning and never have any issues with it and then of course since then uh, we've had a couple of issues here so anyways mr Bond, james bond is in the help see you my friend crypto heathen says coinbase account does not exist okay so it seems like everybody in this chat for the most part is on on my uh on my side in terms of coinbase hating coinbase so anyways let's keep the show rolling so francis says luckily i have another venue to get some bitcoin one thing I would say, and this is kind of what I've been saying, uh, especially future show that we do every day after the YouTube, uh, but it, it's probably a good idea to get yourself up a setup on a couple of different exchanges, especially if you're somebody who's using non KYC stuff. So with KYC, KYC means know your customer. So are we laggy here? We're okay. Uh, that means that they know who you are. So I would be a little bit hesitant in, ter in terms of setting up a lot of different KYC accounts where you're basically just handing over your information to whoever wants it. But in terms of non-KYC stuff, I would be getting set up on as many different accounts and exchanges within the non-KYC world as possible for different reasons. Some exchanges go down if they run out of Bitcoin. Some exchanges go down for maintenance when they 
conveniently run onto Bitcoin or they don't want to sell any more Bitcoin. But it is a good idea to get yourself up, uh, set up in a few different ways. Bitcoin News says, hey, Apollo is great. It is a fantastic resource for anybody who's looking for anything. You can look for a new device on there. You can look for uh, an exchange to use, anything. Hey, Apollo, and it has reviews by Bitcoiners on there. Okay, well, we got to keep things moving along here. 